Let's look at the Cowboys' three biggest plays from Monday night's matchup with the Eagles. The first one comes on the first drive. This is going to be a 44-yard completion to C.D. Lamb. The Eagles are showing a single high safety, which indicates cover three zone to the Cowboys. But what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, this safety, uh, this is Kavon Wallace, is going to rotate up top, and this is actually going to be a split field safety look or cover two. Now, Dak identifies this because the safety is starting to creep backwards even before the snap, and so they dial up a cover two beater. And so we're going to have just a deep curl route to hold this safety, and then we're going to have a post route to beat the rotating safety. And so you can see as this plays out, it's a max protection C.D. Lamb gets inside leverage over the safety, and that's an easy touchdown. Dak slightly underthrows that ball, uh, but it gets down to the one-yard line, and the Cowboys would score the next play. And so, again, you can just see that as the Eagles try to rotate, as they try to spin these safeties to disguise the coverage, where it is vulnerable is the middle of the field, uh, as this safety, Wallace, is already giving up inside leverage. And so, um, Dak identifies that, CeeDee Lamb identifies that, and they just attack this over the middle of the field. This is an easy, easy throw. Now, we go on to uh, later in the game, the score is 7-7, seven to seven, and the, the Eagles this time, they're going to be in cover two again. This is cover two sink, and so we've got two high safeties. And our outside cornerbacks are lined up uh, in off coverage. Sometimes in cover two, you'll get press coverage where you're going to try to disrupt them and then play the flat. Uh, this time we are in sync coverage, which means we're protecting against the vertical route. And so what you're going to see from the Cowboys is we've got a corner route on the backside and in route. These routes don't really matter. Uh, but the running back is going to flare out to threaten the flat. The tight end Dalton Schultz is going to run a wheel route and the outside receiver is going to run a post. And so this is designed to put this safety into conflict. And so as we roll the tape, what you can see here uh, is that at the snap of the ball, there's a couple of problems with what happens here. The first problem comes with Darius Slay. Darius Slay is in a sync technique, which means that he has to, uh, he has to read that there are two vertical receiving threats to threaten one safety, and he has to stay back with that. You want him to throw this check down route to the flat, and then you just rally and tackle. That's what cover two sync is designed to do. And yet Slay doesn't do that. Slay is going that first step right there. He takes that first step down. At this moment, Dak knows he has an easy throw because this safety is in conflict. He has no help. Uh, he either has to choose to take this post or the wheel, and whoever he doesn't take is going to be wide open. Now you can see on the other side of the field, the other corner is doing what he is supposed to carrying a vertical route and he is not worried about the flat. The second problem with this play is Alex Singleton. Alex Singleton is in a seam curl, which means he is supposed to carry a route vertically up the seam. Both of these routes are coming off of the seam, and yet he's going to stand flat-footed here, and the ball's just thrown over his head. He tries to make the jump, and it's just not there. And so we have a breakdown of coverage responsibilities here, and this goes on both Darius Slay and Alex Singleton for not playing these vertical routes. Easy pitch and catch for the touchdown. Now the third play uh, comes on a cover one man look from the Eagles. And so the Eagles show a single high safety and we have man aligned coverage. We've got someone covering each man. Um, and so the, the Cowboys are going to run a play action pass. We're going to play fake it here and Dak is going to bootleg out. Uh, we've got you know, an in route and a post route on this side, that doesn't really matter. What matters is we have a curl route or a corner route right here. And then we've just got a little flare out from the tight end who's going to simulate blocking. And what you need to watch on this play is Alex Singleton. Alex Singleton is in man coverage on this tight end. And yet you see what happens is at the play fake, he's going to rush in. He's sucked in. Now at this point, the tight end is already wide open. That's going to be an easy, easy pitch and catch. And then just some really horrific tackling from the Eagles to let uh, Schultz into the end zone there. But before we kill uh, Alex Singleton too much for this one, you can also look at the top of the play here and you can see Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris, the free agent signing at safety. He is also in man coverage. And you see he plays the run first too. His first step is not to cover his receiver. And now he's already beat as well. This, this route's coming over the middle of the field. Uh, there's nobody here. This is wide open. Even if Singleton did what he was supposed to, this is an easy throw as well. Um, 
And so it's really a breakdown. And even if we go back, even if we roll back here, you can see that even at the top of the screen, um, even at the top of the screen right here, we're also giving up inside leverage. Uh, and this is also a throw that could be made. And so Dak has three throws he could make here. Uh, he takes the easiest one, which you can't fault him for. It's wide open. Uh, but the Eagles really blew this um, coverage as they're sucked in on the play fake. And so what you can see is Jonathan Gannon is mixing up coverages. He's disguising cover two. He's calling cover two sink. He's calling cover one man. But the Eagles personnel is just failing to execute these plays. Some of it stems from being unable to stop the run, and that sets up these play action passes. Some of it stems from just not having the athleticism to rotate coverage. When a quarterback can dice up even your disguised coverages, it's going to be a long day for your defense. And it was as the Cowboys rolled 41 to 21.